and welcome to Leia's podcast, a number five. Well, after uh, some usual technical difficulties in which uh, we want to throw our equipment around, uh, even though it's very nice equipment, uh, uh, everything's up and running, so woohoo! Uh, yes, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yay, technology. You can just Kiss my big old patoot. All right, so I think maybe it's bad luck to tell my technology to kiss my patoot because then it'll just, uh, it'll. It's gonna give you the big finger. It's gonna give me the big technological Terminator uh, machine finger. Oh, different universe. Ooh. Anyway, and once again, we uh, are giving our shout outs at the end of the podcast. So if you really hate listening to me talk, you can skip ahead and uh, get to the uh, shout outs. Or otherwise, enjoy listening and I will shout at you soon. So today on the podcast, two of our most uh, popular guests are back to discuss a little something something. And uh, whatever else the hell I feel like talking about. I have my son, the dark thundercloud that he is, uh, Ben Kylo Ren Organa Solo. Hi. I feel like I should be applauding and going like, Woo! Woo, yeah! Um, Thanks. You're welcome. And my other guest is the wee petite... Can throw a bowling ball like no one else's business, just not where it's supposed to go. Uh, Miss Delightful Little Ray. How do you know about the bowling? I never did that. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, don't act like you haven't watched the latest video. You know we all spied on you. Fine, we know. I am so embarrassed. Finn is going to get my staff rammed up his- Um, these days he might appreciate that. Hey, that was gonna be my line. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, never mind. You got there first, fair and square. And a tracking bracelet! That psycho little- And so unimaginative. It was in the last movie. Right. He just, like, hid it in a cuff. Here you go! <laughs> She'll never but, figure this out, although you didn't... I never figured it out. No. Well, I wasn't su- being suspicious. I was just like, that's cute. I'm surprised I didn't just leave it in my drawer and never wear it. Yeah. But but I'm kind. I'm that kind of person. I'm like, he made this for me. I have to wear it. I thought he just bought it. I didn't think he made it for you. Well, he had to put the tracker in it, so he had to make something. That it had would... to weld something to something. Well, we never did actually see it, so... It's really big and lumpy, and, you know, I was just like, oh, as, as certain people would say, bless his heart. <laughs> so it was really ugly. Yes, it was ugly. <laughs> and I wore it out of being his friend, not realizing that he was stalking me with it. Yeah, see where that gets you. I know. Not going to be nice anymore. Okay, let's not get too much advice here from uh, Mr. Doom and Gloom over there. What? Sometimes being nice is a good thing. I think you know where Finn stands with things now, so just don't trust him. But That doesn't mean everyone's like that. And yes, we all spied on you. But come on, could you uh, really imagine us not doing that? I mean, if we weren't there, nobody would have seen it. Like a tree falling in the woods. Would that date ever really have existed? So, um, yeah, um, we never did figure out how to bowl. No, and, um, something tells me that, uh, the bowling bit isn't what the listeners want to hear about. Well, that's what they're going to hear about for right now, anyway. I am talking about bowling balls, not bed balls. Oh, God, yes, please don't. Well, the, you're the one who brought up that they don't want to hear about bowling. I know, but that doesn't mean you have to not talk about it. <laughs> Jesus. That's going to give me more gas. I just swallowed a lot of bubbles. So what did you think about Poe's smooth abilities to uh, keep people from realizing that he'd already seen you out on a date? Well, I think that's uh, kind of 
right about what I expected him I to was, be like. I was, I was going to say, that's very typical of Poe. If he farted, he'd be the one to go, I didn't fart. Whoa, somebody totally farted. <laughs> that's my Poe imitation. You sounded just like him. <laughs> no, she didn't. She sounded like a surfer guy. <laughs> Do we surf in the Star Wars? I don't know. I'm sure, but they call it something else. Scorfing. Oh, that sounds like some nasty sexual act. Scorfing? Scorfing. I'm sure there's some urban dictionary entry. Yeah, um, if anyone would like to, in the comments below, give um, their ideas of what squirfing would be, feel free. I thought it was scorfing. No, she's saying squirfing. Squirfing. That's even worse. And I know. That's why I said it. So... Second date. Hooray! There's a, so much enthusiasm coming out of you today. Why? I'm I'm happy yet concerned. What? What's so concerning about it anyway? Just because he's the supreme leader of the um evil uh organization that's trying to take over the world and kill us? Yes, pretty much that, yeah. Mm -hmm. We totally separate work from not work. Uh, great. So, uh, you're, when you're separated, you might blow her to smithereens. She might blow me to smithereens. That's the chance we're willing to take. For what? Oh, you're both so stupid. Which brings me to my next point. Please tell me you wore protection. See, Phasma said to, she said something about wear protection, but I thought she meant like a helmet or something. <clears throat> um... Ben. What? It was that um that rubber thing. You know, I put on your, you know. Oh, right. You didn't, you just put it on. You didn't say what it was. So I just thought it was something like a kink of yours. No! <laughs> Let me wrap it up like, you know, cellophane. It's like a hot dog you can make for later. So what did Poe <laughs> tell you how to did he, what, did he slip that into your pocket one day and said, hey, you oh, might want to use Oh, no, 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 he didn't slip it in my pocket. He came by with a whole handful of them and said, these are what Phasma was talking about. Um, here's a space banana, and this is how you put them on. And my face was bright red, and I was horrified, and I said, shut up, and grabbed them all and ran away. A space banana. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I see a banana floating around. Is it wearing a helmet on one end? Because <laughs> it's in space. Kind of looks like the balls, you know. <laughs> Pardon me. Are you are you okay, Sean? Oh, I'm I'm just great. It's fabulous having this conversation with my mother in the room. Well, you're on my friggin effing podcast so yeah i'm gonna be in the room yes yes i i know that's that's what i signed up for i don't know why well you're glutton for punishment this is part of your penance probably well any opportunity to be in the same room with ray is the opportunity i'll jump at i'm gonna ignore the fact that uh it has nothing to do with doing something with or for your mother uh. i felt bad until you belched Ah, uh, well. <laughs> See, what's good about this, I keep uh, having to remind myself, this is not all live. It could be edited. Yeah, no, this is not a live chat. We can suck and I can stitch it together and make it workable. <laughs> oh, once again, kiss my patoot. You could just be like a complete bag of and just suck all night long. But I'll somehow make it humorous. Don't worry. A bag of That's how I would describe my mom, yeah. A bag of bits. Ooh. Okay. With boots on. <laughs> They're all wearing boots. Oh, all of them are. I was seeing like a giant trash bag with a pair of her boots on. <laughs> oh, well, that would make more sense, I guess. You wouldn't need so many pairs to... Well, I guess <laughs> each day would only be wearing one boot. One boot. And hopping along. What the f are we talking about? <laughs> this, wasn't it you who asked, what is this, the fart and joke channel? <laughs> um, yeah. 
So, uh, well, while we were having technical difficulties, I uh, had a microphone that was <laughs> resting on my lap, basically. And every, like, minute and a half, I was just farting like crazy. I don't know what it was that I ate today. But, boy, howdy, I could not stop farting. And the microphone was picking it all up. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. And now you're all out of farts, like I said. The viewers, oh, the, the listeners are oh, going to be so oh, disappointed. Oh, they're going to be crushed. They're like, no, oh, how am I going to get off tonight now? It used to be the gold bikini and now it's the farting. Oh, oh, that makes me very sad. <laughs> oh, age is a real bitch, you know what I mean? Not yet, but I'm sure I will. Well, if, <laughs> if Ray doesn't blow me up first. Oh, like, I'm the only one who could kill you, probably, actually, now that I think about it. If if Finn ends up killing you, I'm going to be very upset. He won't kill me. And if you end up killing Finn, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to do my best not to kill him, <laughs> even if I really, really want to. Well, you were kind of doing your best to kill all of us at the end, but you did want to blow that piece of... What did you call it? Whatever, you know, the stupid PG-13 blow that piece of junk out of the sky when really I want to say... say blow that piece of shit! Out of the sky! I was still feeling a little bitter. I was in that piece of shit, thank you very much. And so was Chewy. You should have no grudge against Chewy. Chewy never did anything wrong to you. Except shoot me with his bowcaster. Can you blame him? You just killed his best friend! I, 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 I know. I, I, shot I know. shot in the side, not in the middle of your face. Yeah, I know. That it would have been really better if you shot me in the middle of my face. <sighs> ben, you go from like one minute I want to grab you by the shoulders and shake you around and 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 smack you in the face to then like, oh, would you stop being so Yeah, I know. It's the magic that is me. One minute you want to kill me, the next <laughs> console me. Oh my god, I'm gonna go insane. Well, I did always have hope. Hope, hope, hope for you, but um, at least in the last movie, I seem to have uh, kind of given up on it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ma. Yeah, well, you know, I held out for quite a long time. Uh, you know, uh, I was still holding on even after I knew you killed your father. I, uh, I still was kind of holding on even after, as far as I knew, it could have been you that blew me out into space. Uh, at some point, you have to stop uh, fooling yourself. Well, you see, in the movies, you have to give up before I actually come back. You've got to be blown away and surprised when I do. Literally uh, blown away. <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh, well, I, I realize that. After I watched the movie, <laughs> I'm like, oh, how nice. It wasn't him that set me into space. No, just the guys that were uh, following my lead. Yes, doing what they figured you wanted them to. And they thought, oh, there must be something wrong with his, his gun. His gun, his gun is jammed on his tricked out Huck special. <clears throat> He made it just for you. Actually, I think the story is he made it as like a prototype and no one but you could fly it because it was so sensitive and uh, complicated and yada yada. Because I'm like such a badass pilot. <laughs> you are badass. And you got the force, so, you know, it helps. When I turn and I get to like... I just want to, I, I do want to fly the Falcon and fly it for the good guys. <laughs> I sound like such a Oh, totally. But hey, it warms your mother's heart. This is a real problem. See, because the minute I say I'm going to turn and I start saying I'm going to be a good guy, I lose like half my sex appeal. And it's sad, but it's true. Yeah, that's a, what is wrong with us all? I mean, you, you, the fact that there are so many people who still are like, ooh, Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren, after how many people have you slaughtered? Yeah, And <laughs> they're like, whatever. I mean, that's how your character was introduced in the first movie. You just had a whole village of innocents who were crying and screaming, gun down! And then they're all like, ooh, heartthrob, he's got his shirt off. 
Did you lose your giant stack of ashes that you kept in your interrogation chamber? Lose it? Where would it have gone? Well, I wasn't sure if it was on the space, or, you know, Star Killer, but that was on the, uh, the spaceship, right? The, uh, the, the finalizer, the finalizer, that's it. Yes, Mother. What? <laughs> You're star- never, no, no, I'm- everything's great you're great yeah shut up don't don't belittle my intelligence i just kind of up chuckled are you okay you know, do, do we need to call like uh emergency services are you gonna give me one of those little necklaces to wear that has a button with the alert for when you fall down and <laughs> or if you get stuck on the toilet and can't get up again ask finn to make you one <laughs> He's so good at putting little devices in jewelry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that misguided child. You know, it actually did come from a non-creepy place. He's just always constantly worried. Yeah, I mean, you saw him in the first movie. Where's Ray? I gotta get Ray. Oh, no. Ray's in danger. Oh, I've gotta find her. I've gotta rescue her. He's still stuck in that mode. Yeah. Well, he, true, better, but... he better unstick himself, or I'm going to stick something in him. And not in a pleasurable way. Well, you better gonna make be, him know It's going to be like a, a knife in his ribcage or something. That's harsh. And that's coming from me. I was going to say, stop taking all my lines, damn it. You, were, you really are. You're, I'm really your son? I was going to say your mother's daughter. No, your mother's son. That's... That's what I was trying to say. I know you really wanted a girl, Mom, and I'm such a disappointment. Hey, oh, oh, don't give me that horse shit. I was completely happy to have a boy, and you let your hair be long so I could brush it and make it pretty. Yeah. Pretty. <laughs> well, you are kind of pretty in a non-traditional you know, traditional sort of way. You've got those... those you know, your eyes are very pretty, and you have those really nice cheekbones and those big, uh, <laughs> who was it who said it, plump, sumptuous lips. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, he's really going to want to kill me now. Oh, like he didn't already really want to kill me. Is he still going to be, like, helping you, you know, with your dates and whatnot? He has no choice. Uh, and he's too scared of you to try to subtly sabotage things yeah no he wouldn't dare do that he's just you know trying to plot my death well first he's plotting to overthrow me and then he's gonna slowly torture me to death over <laughs> years if he can make it last that long you think he'd risk that that you know you wouldn't escape and then torture him for years <laughs> oh he'd you know the way he always plots and plans ahead, he would make sure that wouldn't happen. Yes, he's just there with his fingers together, you know, oh, you, it'll be so worth it. When I finally take him down, all my suffering will be worth it. <laughs> Leia? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, nope, I'm awake. I'm full of pep and vigor and I... Should have had a cup of calf. It's okay, Ma. You can sleep. We've got this. Oh, shut up! This is my podcast! This isn't a live phone call to be aired for everybody. Yeah, Ma. You, you, can, you can leave the room. You can just, like... Oh, why don't you leave the room, smartass? So, Ray, because I'm sure all the inquiring minds want to know, go ahead, give us all the lore details. Was he bad at it? Uh, did he only last, like, 30 seconds? <laughs> See, what I would have thought is that um, you could use the force to get it up again really quick. You can make it so that it doesn't even go down in the first place. I can't believe I'm talking like this to you. Oh, 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 to me. Yeah, don't talk to me about wieners. I've never heard about them before. But aren't you, um, okay, so they make these devices that you can wrap around the wiener 
that um, delays getting off. But they say it actually can be a little dangerous. You know, people uh, you don't always want to do that. Um, I kind of think it could be pretty dangerous using it with the Force, too. Especially, how good is your control when you're in that situation? I mean, I think you're a little distracted. You know, I'm pretty good at using the Force, in case you didn't know. Oh, no. I never... I never knew you were good at the Force. I never told you you were good at the Force. I was never supportive or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So? But you never used it while you were having sex before. I mean, you can be good at the Force, but still be a little like, you know... Ray, can you... back me up a little? <laughs> Because she's not going to believe me. I'm not saying that I think you were bad. I'm just saying, you know, I wouldn't blame you if you were a little, you know, flustered during your first, uh, you know, act of intimacy. <laughs> oh, was your dad there giving you pointers since he seemed to enjoy bothering the hell out of you all the time? No, dad was unnervingly quiet. I hope that means she was off in uh, ghost heaven having a drink. Oh, I heard from him later. When I got back, he wouldn't shut up all night. And you know what my favorite part was? Oh, I was gonna say! Was it like watching you know, the sports channel after a game? And Pretty they... much. And he wasn't alone. Oh, don't tell me Luke was there too. Yeah, yeah. He... <gasps> no! Creepy old man! Okay, wait a minute. Why was it okay for my dad to be there? <laughs> because everyone knows your dad's a creepy old man already! Luke wasn't supposed to be that way! Oh, I feel icky! You know he liked you. Whatever! He was supposed to be like a father figure! And you know my dad liked you too. And he was supposed to be a father figure, too. You have got to stop making these guys your father figures. I thought you were going to end up saying it like her. You've got to stop having these guys be your father figures. I do not mock her beautiful <laughs> accent. You wouldn't be mocking her. You just... You know how it is when couples start sounding like each other? Just wait, that's going to happen to you guys. That would be adorable. No. Oh. I never want to hear the word adorable out of your mouth again. Feel your balls. Remember they're there. Oh, I don't ever want to hear you say something like that to me again. Fine. We have a deal. Fine. As soon as you say adorable, I remind you to feel your balls. Fine. Stop saying that. <laughs> and I owe you an adorable. <laughs> so, Ray, how was your end of things? Um, I really don't feel it's appropriate to shag and tell, but I have absolutely no complaints, and it was a lot of fun. You know what the problem is? It was so good, I don't think I'm going to be able to be Supreme Leader for much longer. Ah, oh, good job, Ray, everybody. Give Ray some applause for, uh... Wooing the uh, Supreme Leader of Evil over to the good side to get more nookie. You need to just, yep, quit your job, <laughs> as I refer to it. Just quit your job and come move in with me. Well, smuggle me into your room and then I'll just live there and never come out. Um, To be fair, in a very unfortunate, sad sort of way, our numbers are extremely diminished. The whole of the Resistance can fit in the Millennium Falcon. There really wouldn't be that big of an angry mob. But, you know, if they all decided to sneak up on me when I'm sleeping, you know, I'd still be in trouble. You're very alert. We'll have security measures put up so no one can sneak into a room. <laughs> the security measures will be, you'll be, like, wrapped around me all the time. <laughs> Looking over your shoulder with this, like, <laughs> Just try it. <laughs> Even when you, when you get up to walk around and go places, I'll just be on your back with my arms wrapped around your shoulders, glaring at anyone who tries anything. That sounds really appealing. 
actually. It's like getting a hug and protected at the same time. Not that you couldn't protect yourself, but this way you're not looking threatening. You're just looking ridiculous. <laughs> The both of you. I just keep hearing. I see you like hissing, <laughs> swatting. Uh, you see, I've never had anything, let alone anyone, before. So I might get horribly possessive just because I don't want to lose the first, you know, possession. Because that's how I feel. You're my possession now. <laughs> That's cool. And it's, yeah, I was going to say, not like you will mind. Not at all. <laughs> but so this is my first possession and no one's taking it away from me. It's like the street cat who finally gets fed regularly. <laughs> but they don't believe they're going to keep getting fed and they'll hiss at anyone who comes near their food. <laughs> I am a former street cat with trust issues. <laughs> And I am your food. <laughs> oh, gross. And this is me now saying... <laughs> figuratively, Ma. Mostly figuratively. Oh, you're having fun now turning the tables, aren't you? <gasps> me? It takes a lot to give me the ickies. Congratulations. <laughs> so, yeah, the um, this podcast has a different feel to it. And, um, yes, it has its ups, its downs, its... Um... Yeah, and it's overall somehow a little bit subdued well we can't always be on 11 every now and then we're gonna be on a nine or an eight we just uh we need a little you know what i mean just a little <laughs> is that what you and poe get up to when you're rubbing each other's shoulders yeah i don't know where these rumors started about me and poe getting it on but uh yeah that's uh that's not happening i think poe might have said something look I might have done something once, but that doesn't mean there's a continual thing. It's like, you know, you gotta try everything once sort of attitude. Okay, so how was he? Does he live up to the hype? Uh, yeah, he does. He really does. He's a little, uh, a little firecracker. Oh god, I just got this horrible image in my head. Please tell me you didn't do a three-way with him and Finn. God, I hope I never have. I hope I've never been drunk enough to do something and <laughs> not remember. I mean, I know I've been drunk enough to not remember things. But if I found out they took advantage of that, I'd have to, like, blast their buttocks off. I don't think they would be taking advantage of any. I think you would be taking advantage of them. Look, I might like to, you know, grab an ass or grab some balls, or give a smoochy poo, but I'm not gonna just be like, hey, let's do a three-way. Let me in like a like a sandwich. Can I be your meat? See, that doesn't sound right when it's a woman. <laughs> Can I be the meat of your sandwich? <laughs> Ew! No, you're supposed to be the bottom bread. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, the the bread, the slice of bread that sits on the plate, the meat's on top no, of that. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's just <laughs> calling someone bottom bread just sounds, sounds ridiculous. I just think of a sandwich when I think of a three-way. Do you like to be the cold cuts or do you like to be the top of the bottom bread? <laughs> Or, or, or you do the cheese, or perhaps mayonnaise. Is it the more condiments and um, like vegetables that are in the sandwich? Is that like the threesome is growing? It's now a foursome. It's now a fivesome. The bottom person is going to be crushed to death. <laughs> I feel sorry for whoever's the lettuce. They must be the most boring one. They're there to like what bring people water and um <laughs> hold and the towels. towels. <laughs> oh, I just said towel. You would have to be gross. Well, what else would the towel be for? <laughs> just to blot their foreheads. Oh, you're so sweet, <clears throat> Leia. I'm trying to figure out how to regain control of my podcast again without pissing off all the listeners who'll be like, Leia, no, let them talk. Go away. No one's going to tell me to go away from my own podcast. So if I see any of that in the comments, you can just, oh, you just watch yourselves. 
I'll do nothing, but I'll be really irritated. You can use the force on them. I'm not you. Well, you don't have to uh, like. Oh, jeez. What? Better out than in, as they say. Better out than turning into a fart. Better out the mouth than out the ass. <laughs> that should really be the saying. Yep. Which hole would you prefer this air to come out of? Because there's only two options. And one, it will smell a lot better. It might not smell nice, but at least <laughs> it won't smell like it went through a sewer. At least I'm doing... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, does this gas just pick up all the sh particles and it's traveling through your, you know, stomach and intestines? Sh particles. Now you're pissing off the listeners. I do what I can, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this lovely chat with our, uh, oh God, they're like newlyweds or something. Yeah, two virgins discovering sex when they're both, you know, force sensitive. Ooh, it's just all they're ever going to be able to talk about. They're going to be just completely boring to be around. Pretty much. Yeah, I do kind of have a faraway look in my eye all the time. Yeah, I can't get anything done. I'm being way too nice to everyone. Huh. Applause for Ray for uh, sabotaging the First Order. Way to go, Ray. Anytime. <laughs> and I mean that, anytime, Ray. Really. Mom. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap up my podcast here. God. Go make smoochy faces somewhere else. Go on, shoo. Shoo. Oh. 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 Shout outs. Now, for our Patreon patron shout outs. Our lovely patrons, that we thank, thank, thank you so much, all of you, once again, for making it uh, uh, a lot easier to get some stuff done. It, uh, it spurs us on and gives us enthusiasm, and we love and appreciate you all. I'm going to start the shout-outs with some people I missed last time that were uh, had selected no rewards, so they weren't up in my list. So I'm going to start with them. All right. Erica Stones. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Liana R. McCoy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, God, I'm going to start sounding like Luke. God, <laughs> no, I'm mad at him. Thank you. Uh, hello. Thank you. And he oh, hello to you. And thank you. Thank you. Hello. Uh, Laura, thank you. Laura uh, is the face. Oh, no, <laughs> you're being serenaded by Kylo. Hmm. I'm calling you Kylo because Ben will not serenade anyone but me. That's true. <laughs> Excuse me, can I continue my friggin' shout out? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you don't sound sorry at all. Okay. Great ditch. Great dish. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. Tara Fahey. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. KCB. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. Bran Chessy. Thank you. Thank, thanks. Th th thank, thank you. Leslie Ann Johnson. Oh, I thank you very much. Thank you. And I never say thank you. He really doesn't. Yay! Actually, I wouldn't know that. He thanks me all the time. <laughs> God! You two are the worst to have for this! Tasha Gafti, thank you very much. Yeah! Yay! I'm trying to do something different! I know, it's like, awkward. Shut up! What part of shut up do you not understand? That means giggling too. Giselle Miz, thank you. Did you say Miz? Miz, yes, it's M Z Miz. Oh, okay, thank you. Or, or just Giselle M Z, thank you. Lauren Heckler, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 
Andrea Guevara. I'm not sure if the G is is a H or a J. So, uh, Andrea Guevara or Andrea Guevara. Thank you. Thank you and sorry about that. Schwepper for 63. Schwepper. Super. Oh, I bet it's super. Yeah. Super 63. I got you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Jordana Duarte. Jordana Duarte. Duarte. Jordana Duarte. Oh, my God. What? I don't know if the J is a huh. I'm always confused with those things. Thank you, Jordana Jordana. Oh, we love you. Thank we, you. We love you and sorry. Oh, sorry, yes. I already apologize. Claire Lucier. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Last of the Wilds. Thank you very much. I like your uh, your little avatar wild thing. Yes, it's very cool. Monica Zavala. Zavala. Monica, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She, Amanda Millwood, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sigourney Lee, thank you very much. Thank you. I was going to say what? Nothing from the peanut gallery? Come on. I'm trying to come up with other ways to say thank you so I don't sound as dorky as Luke. Look, there's just not a whole lot of ways to say thank you. So, And um, you could never sound as dorky as Luke because you're not going, thank you. <laughs> What? Uh, zip it. Oh, I thought that was someone's name. Thank you. <laughs> no! That was just me telling you to shut up. <laughs> You're welcome. Alessandra, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. God, you two are morons. Rochelle, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I resent that, Leia. Maria Rincon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jordan Sleet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Th thank you. Oh, God. I apologize ahead of time. Jen Nock Chalvo. I bet that's not even close. Jen Nock Chalvo. Chalvo. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think you knew that was coming. You you expected that from me. But uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> God, we all like Luke. I know. Vicky Ives. Oh, thank you very much, Vicky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, whispering doesn't make it any different, I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, it does make it different. <laughs> it makes it seductive. So, once again, we... Absolutely appreciate and love all of our patrons. You have made uh, a huge difference in uh, in uh, my life for sure. There's a level of stress that has been removed, so thank you very sincerely for that. And um, anyone else who's considering, uh, you know, pop on over to patreon.com forward slash The Farce Awakens. Yeah, in you case you didn't know, there's a... A slightly longer version of the new date night cartoon. And... Oh, yep, yep. There's a, a, and of course it's unedited, so all foul language and um, a, ugh, a longer smooch. A See? very long, disturbing kiss. Uh, God, you guys aren't supposed to. When you tongue, you don't leave your mouth open and far enough away that you can see it from the outside. What are you, lizards? <laughs> hey, we're new at this. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, I was gonna say we didn't know what to do. We liked it. It was it was nice. We didn't know we were being judged. Next time, push the faces together. You don't need to like have wind drying out your tongues while you're flopping them around in each other's mouths. Oh well, thank you very much. Anyway, now a shoe, get out. So, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for listening. Uh, congratulations if you made it all the way through this podcast, as always. Uh, kudos to you. And we will uh, be talking at you soon. Good day, good evening, good morning, whatever time it is that you're listening. Mwah!